Hashimoto's disease is the number one autoimmune disease in the world today. Several people have written to me about how they can cure Hashimoto's disease. And today, I am going to share with you natural ways by you can reverse your Hashimoto's disease. But before we move forward, I would like you to take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's first talk about what exactly is Hashimoto's disease so that you have a better understanding of how you can cure it. So Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disease of your thyroid gland where your body is making antibodies against your own thyroid gland. And these antibodies start a slow destruction of your thyroid gland and slowly and slowly your thyroid gland is destroyed to the point that it is not able to make thyroid hormone. Now, if you go to your conventional doctors, they will say that once you get Hashimoto's disease, nothing can be done. You will continue the medicine for lifelong. But in reality, the medicine they are putting you on, the levothyroxine, is not doing anything for reducing the antibodies. But now, research does show that there are several things you can do to reduce antibodies and cure this Hashimoto's disease. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But... Why don't you understand what are the symptoms associated with Hashimoto's disease? So there are several symptoms of Hashimoto's disease. And these are weight issues. If you are unable to lose weight, then it is because of Hashimoto's. People feel tired or fatigued. They have brain fog issues. They are not able to concentrate. They have several gut-related problems like constipation, bloating, sometimes diarrhea. Sometimes they even get diagnosed with IBS while the real problem is Hashimoto's. Several females suffer from mood changes like depression, anxiety. Sometimes females have infertility issues, hair loss, hair thinning, nail cracking, feeling cold all the time. These are all some of the symptoms of Hashimoto's and many more. All right, now let's talk about Hashimoto's cure. So below are the things that you can do that can help you out in reversing your Hashimoto's disease. So number one is diet. In the diet plan that I'm going to tell you, there are certain foods that you need to exclude and there are certain foods that you need to include on the daily basis to help your Hashimoto's. Now, I have made a several other videos, specifically one. Number one is diet. So in this diet, I'm going to share with you certain foods you need to avoid and certain foods you need to eat on the daily basis to help your Hashimoto's. Now, I have made another video which is more specific and more detailed about Hashimoto's diet and the link is in the description. But let's talk about first food that you need to remove from your diet because these are inflammation causing food. And these are gluten, dairy, soy, processed food, processed meat, lot of sugar in your diet, alcohol, all of these foods need to be removed from your diet because these are responsible for causing antibodies in your body, which is destroying your thyroid gland. So please remove these foods. Now let's talk about food which are healing for Hashimoto's. The number one foods are lots and lots of vegetables. The more colorful vegetables are present in your diet, the more nutrients they provide to your thyroid gland to safeguard it. So colorful, non-starchy vegetables are very, very important to include. Whether you eat them in salad form, whether you eat them in cooked vegetables forms, whether you eat them in sautéed form or you eat them in steamed form. All of these are perfectly fine. Just eat lots of vegetables. Now there is a myth going around that cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages are not good for people with thyroid disorders. But for Hashimoto's patients, these foods are really good. Because these have several antioxidants and they have several detox supplements in them that is going to reduce those antibodies of your Hashimoto's. So please eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables, a lot of greens, a lot of salad foods. Okay, So a lot of vegetables are going to help with your Hashimoto's. Then the second food you need to eat is food with good fats. You need a lot of omega-3s because these omega-3s are going to help you to reduce inflammation and also reduce these antibodies. So for that, to get good quality omega-3s, you need to start eating good quality high fish, which is good in omega-3s. 
So to get these omega-3s, you need to start eating good quality fish, which is high in omega-3s. If you are a vegan or a vegetarian, then the other sources of omega-3s are chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts. Those are other sources of omega-3s that you can include that is going to give you omega-3s in adequate quantity. The other good fats you need to include are a lot of nuts and seeds as well as avocados. Okay, so they're going to help with that. Good quality protein is another thing that your thyroid needs. So that again includes good quality fish, chicken. Those are other options. If you are vegan or vegetarians, you can include a lot of beans, a lot of lentils. Um, those are good options for vegan or vegetarian source of protein and as well as nuts and seeds are also other sources. So these are all the things that you need to include in your diet on the regular basis and gluten-free grains are other things that you can include like quinoa, right? Brown rice, some millets, okay? So these are all options that you can include. So this is a good overview of the diet that you can follow that is going to help you with your Hashimoto's. But as I said, I've made another detailed video about the Hashimoto's diet and the link is in the description. Now the second thing that is going to help you things to reverse your Hashimoto's is supplements. There have been certain vitamins and minerals that have shown to reverse your Hashimoto's. So I'm going to list only the few which research proves they work. So the number one supplement in that direction is selenium. Selenium is a compound or a mineral which is needed by your thyroid gland to make thyroid hormone. It was shown in research that by taking a selenium supplementation, people were able to reduce their thyroid antibodies and their Hashimoto's numbers got better. That's the reason I recommend selenium supplementation for my Hashimoto's patients. The dosage is generally between 100 micrograms to 200 micrograms. There are several selenium supplements. Out of those, selenomethionine is the best form of selenium to take. A lot of people have this question, can I eat food which is high in selenium? So certainly you can do that. But obviously we do not know exactly how much selenium you're getting from food. So that's the reason I recommend getting a supplement. But obviously you can get high, you can eat high selenium foods also. Again, I've made another video about high selenium foods. And again, the link will be in the description. The second supplement is zinc. Zinc is again needed by your thyroid to make thyroid hormone. And a lot of people are low in zinc. And again, research have shown that zinc combined with selenium does reduce your thyroid antibodies of Hashimoto's and can help you to reverse your Hashimoto's. So again, zinc supplement can be very, very useful. The dosage generally is between 30 milligrams to 50 milligrams of zinc on the daily basis. Again, you can do zinc, you know, through food also. But again, we do not know how much you are getting it. So again, I have made another video of zinc and which foods you can get. I will put that in the description also. The third uh, mineral that is needed for Hashimoto's is magnesium. Now, magnesium is a great mineral which is needed by your body for several enzymatic processes, including to make your thyroid hormone and also to convert your inactive thyroid hormone, that is T4 to T3. So magnesium is wonderful mineral, again, needed by your body. Unfortunately, a lot of foods are low in magnesium. So you cannot get magnesium through food. So it is best to get a supplement which is high in magnesium. The fourth supplement which is useful for reducing antibodies for Hashimoto's is omega-3 fatty acids. Yes, it is very important to take high dosage of omega-3 fatty acids so that that can reduce the antibodies. Research has proven that. So omega-3, the dosage of that generally is between 1000 milligrams to 2000 milligrams on the daily basis of omega-3 supplement to help reduce your antibodies. So these are the supplements that will help you to reduce antibodies and cure your Hashimoto's. Now the last step of curing your Hashimoto's is doing a detox. We know that our environment today is high in different kinds of toxins and research time and again has proven that toxins can trigger your Hashimoto's and once you get rid of these toxins, you are able to reverse your Hashimoto's. So there are different ways to detox. Obviously, I do not recommend that doing the detox on your own. Working with a functional medicine provider is very important doing the detox. Some things you can do on your own are you can do saunas, especially infrared saunas are really good for detoxification. You can do something called dry brushing, which is good for detoxification. Drinking lots and lots of water again helps with detox, especially 
lemon water has shown to be very very beneficial for detoxification some food items help with detoxification especially spices like turmeric and ginger are very good for supporting your liver health and can help with detoxification green tea also has some good uh, research that supports that it can help with detoxification also there are certain supplements again that you can take that can help with detox the number one out of those is glutathione the second one is milk thistle and the third one is alpha lipoic acid but again i repeat that before you do a detox on your own make sure you're talking to your doctor so that it is safe for you to do that so if you follow these three steps of following the right diet if you uh, work on taking these supplements if you work on doing the detoxification then you can cure your hashimotos and you can reverse it i hope you like this video if you do please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye